Okay, hello, Matthew Moore. Hello. <laughs> How's, it? How's it going? You this afternoon. Are <laughs> no, you too? Okay. Thanks for having me. Can um, I make my coffee now? You can make your coffee, but I've got a very important th question to ask you. How do I wear this beanie? Yeah, you've got it right. That's perfect. Are you serious? It's supposed it to be. It needs to have that little thing. Yeah. Okay. So I'm wearing it correctly. And must That's this right. Be yeah. Different? Yeah. Definitely. If I wear it, I make it. I put it at the back because I don't want people to know I'm wearing my own beanies. But, but why yeah, that's this? perfect for you. I wore this when we were in the UK, and I wore it like this. But if I wore it at home, it yeah, I did. But if I wore it here at home, I'd feel a bit weird. Why? <laughs> because of keep you warm. <laughs> I'm not a beanie person or a hat person, but I thought well, it looks like you it. are. It looks good. Okay, thanks, but. Um, I might not keep it on for the whole interview. Um, I just thought I'll, I'll ask you, for people out there like me who aren't really beanie people, um, how do we wear this? Because some people sort you of got wear it. Some people wear yeah, it. Yeah, I guess it depends. Depends on how you want to wear it. You can wear it anyway, I guess. But the way you're doing it is the way I would wear it. Okay, so when my hair is gray, I can just wear a beanie and nobody will see. So Exactly. Okay, no, so man. You, you making your coffee there while I chat to you? Um, yes, I'm using the AeroPress that Jess got me for. I think she got it for my birthday. Or are Christmas. you serious? Yes, it was your birthday. I remember. Okay. Um, okay let me ask this is you. The first, this is the first video thing I'm doing where I'm not actually covering up my lockdown haircut with a beanie. Oh, by and the way. I'm wearing a beanie. You're the one wearing a beanie. Yeah. <laughs> The reason I wore the beanie is to ask you how to wear it. It was a genuine question. Um, no, you've but, done it perfectly. But sometimes what you can do is you can fold it. Yeah, check. I've got a beanie here. Um, you can so fold this is one of my old ones. Yeah. yeah. So check. So there's that. So if you fold it double, yeah. then it makes it. I don't know anything. This is what this. I don't know anything about fashion. Just but by the like way. The beanie and expert. at least when you. When when you wear it, then it's like this style. You know that style. Oh, I where see. It's... Yeah, but now look, I look like a fisherman. No, you first have to. Well, it is a bit of a fisherman style, but you first have to fold it properly. But it's fine. That's you look good there. Okay, thank you. I'll wear it so that everybody can thank see you. who I'm speaking to. Okay, <laughs> here's my first question. Yes. You are a musician, obviously. Everybody knows really? this about you. You're a musician. Did you say really? Um, yeah. Okay. Or are you messing coffee all over the place? No, I just dropped something. Where's Lily, Some by the way? Where's Lily? Lily was, is with Jess. I don't know if I can get her because we're in the middle of this call now. Okay. Well, Can't yeah. Move. Maybe I'll do a separate one with Lily on her own because she likes to talk okay. to me. But um, that's a good idea. Okay. So now. Okay, you're a musician, so everything you do, no, everything you do is in here. You spend a lot of time um, writing songs, practicing your stuff, putting all your sounds together. We've all seen, uh, uh, people are fascinated, myself included, that you can sit in a room Thanks. and you get all these weird little sounds that don't make sense to anybody, but you know where you're going with the sounds and it forms a song. And people say, wow, yeah. he's so talented. But when you lived at home, you used to drive us crazy because you would be in the room next door and there would be this bang, bang, bang on the wall or whatever else. And we would, your dad would shout at you. I never did. <laughs> I can't remember. And we'd say, turn no, it down. Remember. We want to watch TV or we want to go to bed. And here you are, when you come and visit us and you, as soon as you walk in the door, there's music and noise and nobody tells you to be quiet anymore. Isn't that amazing? Well, sometimes if I go a bit late, then people do tell me to keep quiet. Yeah, if you go but a no, bit yeah. late. But now it's like everybody then knows I understand. you. Everybody knows you for as Matthew Mull, singer, songwriter, and all of that stuff. But here we are, the whole world's in lockdown. So yeah. your world has basically come to a standstill. You can't get out there and sort do of. shows. You, do you still yeah, can't well, do what shows, you do shows at home. But you can't get out there and do your shows. And I'm sure you miss that because I've heard you say um, in some of your live things you've done that you, the interaction from the crowd 
is different yeah. to you when you're doing a live thing and there's just comments coming up on the side. Well, you would know this as well from, so you would know that as well. You would know that too, because you, you do the same thing. No, it's, it's now you know the difference. Yeah, I know. No, now I know for me, the difference is when you upfront and you're preaching to people that can't speak. Now I realize yeah. how much people actually really want to speak and they don't because they yeah. can't. And now they can. So they're <laughs> preaching along with me and it's great. Yeah. But now, here's my question to you out of all of that. Um, is your coffee ready or does it yeah, take Yeah, I just time? have to take this thing back to the sink. Let me take this to the sink. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, just in case you yeah, didn't so know, I'm speaking to Matthew Mole. I didn't even introduce you. I'm speaking to Matthew Mole. You did, you did. You started out. We do it all the way up in Joburg. Matthew Mole, my son. Um, yes, your I've, son. I've got his time. But now, okay, here's Obviously. the question. Here's the question. This is very yes. important now. That yeah. do you feel forget the fact that you're a musician singer songwriter as a person matthew mole is it important to you to have people involved in your life or are you a loner are definitely you a uh i think i am a little bit of a loner but i i prefer to have people in my life okay does that make sense yeah it, elaborate? Does. it makes sense because i think i'm the same i'm happy to be alone but i also like to be surrounded yes. by people but yeah. In now, in what you do as a musician, you've got a very busy lifestyle. You travel everywhere. You, it's not mm. like people see the glamorous side of it when you're up there on the stage and you're performing and everybody's raving. But when it's normal life, is it important yeah. for you to have people who are supporting you? Not your parents. Definitely. Your parents are a support. But at, like outside yeah. your friends who you can trust, I know Jessica supports you very well, and um, but you've got to have other people out there who can speak into your life and who can support you. You you recognise that that's important. I definitely recognise that's important. Yeah, just because um, I can very easily get stuck in my own thoughts and um, and I can kind of box myself in all the time. I w but this is personally, and even when it comes to music. Yes. I can do this a lot. I guess a lot of people can, but I, I can very much, very easily get in my own thoughts and my own thinking. And, I, and it's dangerous because um, I need a lot of guidance. <laughs> so, okay. um, so it's helpful. Yeah, yeah, we all do. No, yeah, definitely. But it's helpful to just to have a few people that I trust. And yeah. like you say, I mean, obviously you and you guys and Jess, I trust in you. That's, you guys are like the most important yeah, um, and Lily. outside and Lily is. Yes. <laughs> and then it's obviously also good to have friends and, and people at my church that I trust yeah. that I can share stuff with that can help me. Oh. Um, and so like when I have big decisions or big things to make in my personal life, it's helpful to hear what other people think about it and not just what's going on in my own head. It's good to know that we, we raise you up the right way. Um, yes. so, and also, <laughs> Um, I know you belong to a really nice church in Joburg and we know the leaders and I'm so happy when I, yeah. I actually go to church there on a Sunday morning now that it's locked down. I, know, I, go to I spoke other to churches. Tony yesterday. Yeah, I go yes. to other churches too. I go to my one. I go to Kelly's yeah. one, in, in, our daughter in, in the UK. And I go to Matthew's one in Joburg. The church they go to, Matthew and Jess, is Four Ways Community Church. And I'm telling you, when I see it, I'm so blessed that God has put my kids, you and your sister, in the right place at the right time, knowing that you're not out there alone. So I'm happy yeah, about that. For sure. But this is not an advert for Four Ways Community Church, um, as great as they are. But, they, but Pastor T, but, uh, Tony Sivrat, is very, he's very honored that you are streaming in on their, on their oh, church really? services every okay. Sunday morning. Yeah. I'm very yeah. honored that he's honored. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's a, here's a question. How, how do you say, now we're going to get spiritual. Now that we're talking about church, we're going to get spiritual. Yes. For a second. Awesome. Um, how a lot of people hear your songs and they say, wow, that's amazing. I felt the presence of God, but you're not out there as 
this is a lot of people ask me in our travels does matthew have a worship album and i always say yeah. no it's not worship but it's christian so yes. i think you this is my opinion as your mom you are very wise because a lot of christian people think if you're a christian you stay away from the worldly things and the secular things and then in my yes. opinion a lot of people will disagree with me but in my opinion you then you stay in the in the church and in your you bubble i believe musicians are out there okay everybody to each his own but musicians are out there to yeah. have an effect and an impact on what's going on in the world so so your music yeah. is reaching places that you wouldn't reach if you said no i'm only going to do a worship album definitely but your yeah. music and the way you hear from god you hear from god and you write your songs so it basically is worship even though we're not standing mm. like we think mm. worship is let's sing it's not Christ. praise and worship yeah but it's worshipful yeah. so have you ever had people say to you um I never planned this question, but now that we're talking about it, have you yeah. ever had people come to you? Maybe the answer will be no. And they're not Christians, but they've heard your songs yes. and it's done something in them and they can't explain what it is. Has that happened? Definitely. Well, it, does, it happens. I mean, uh, a lot of the times, so that kind of thing, it, it goes a bit deeper when it's on social media. Sometimes I get messages from people yeah. Or I'll see comments on music videos or something. I'll just get personal messages. So where it's not face to face and they'll yeah. tell me something like that, where they'll, which I think is, that's the coolest thing ever for that to yeah. happen. Uh, and yeah. where they'll say, they, uh, but it's always different there. Cause they don't, I guess, I mean, I wouldn't understand what they're feeling. I don't, maybe mm. they don't understand what they felt, but yeah. they, they know that they felt something different. That's they how they would word it. Something. Yeah, or sometimes they'll say, you helped me through some, I mean, the song helped me through something difficult. Or yeah. there was just this, there was like happiness. Yeah, a lot of people say, oh, you look so happy on stage and it, yeah. makes, it makes you feel happy or whatever. And it's so all these different things. People, people it seems like they're, they're trying to explain something, which that's what I like. It mm. doesn't seem like they really know what they're saying. Yeah. And I love that. Because yeah, um, then because they don't really, they, they don't understand felt something unfamiliar. But it's actually... God ministering to them through your songs. Okay, Matthew, I want to ask you, what is your favorite scripture and how, wait, this is a twofold thing. Yes. How does God speak to you? How do you know that God's communicating? I mean, I'm not saying you've got to be 100% saying this was yes. God, but how do you feel God communicates to you? Um, me. A lot of people, God communicates to people in many different ways. Like here's an example. Yeah. I have an impression about something. I just have this yes. sense that yes. God wants to speak to me about something. Jessica said to me yeah. when I spoke to her, he speaks to her mainly out of his word, which is the best way. Yes. And some people yeah. have dreams. So how do you from feel, Jess when it comes to that? How does God speak to you? And what is your favorite scripture? Okay, so two different questions yeah. there in one. Yeah. So um I'm I think I'm the same. I'm still learning. Uh, how to hear from God every day, and but uh, yeah. I mean, with you guys as my parents, it's, I've learned a lot. But That's I'm still good, learning for no? myself. We I are still, still learning. For myself every day. Yeah, I know. No, 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 I know. But but so so but for me, the so impressions is definitely the strongest way that I hear from God. If yeah. I have an impression about something, and then I'll pray into it and and really feel what my impressions are. The more I pray about it, the more I'll feel an impression about something when I really feel like I need to hear what God's trying to say. Yeah. But, um, but then one thing that I think is quite an amazing way to hear from God is through other people. Yeah. Obviously, you need to, you need to pray into it and see if it really mm. is God speaking or whatever. I've learned that from you guys. Mm. But, um, but sometimes when, I, when someone says something that they think that they feel God has told them and they need to tell me, yeah. When I, I, I can tell when it really is something from God and, it, and it's just this amazing thing uh. when, they, when they share it, whatever it is with you, it really, you yeah. just feel something that's really special about it. So yeah, for me, that's, that's, all, that's also been a very powerful way. Obviously, you need to be spending time with the right people 
yeah, to be not opened up to that more. <laughs> yeah. No, not yeah. The well, yeah, but thing. also like people that understand. Uh, yeah. So, um, so now, but then coming to my favorite scripture, I've I got see my you got Bible your Bible here. ready. Very good. Know where I got that, this Bible from? Um, no. Where? You gave it to me. <laughs> me? Years ago. Are you yeah. serious? Yep. Okay, I'm impressed. Yeah, so I've had this thing for ages. Okay, but I don't, ha I don't know what my favorite, favorite scripture from the Bible is. I don't really, I've never thought about that. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people say, oh, my favorite scripture in the Bible is this and this. I've never really thought, what's my favorite scripture? So I don't, I just, I don't know. But, but if this counts, I've got a, a scripture that I really like that I read this morning that stood mm -hmm. out to me. that I thought that this is perfect because this is one that I can talk to you about. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and everyone would understand it. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a few that, that, have been, that have been standing out to me. But Psalm 84, the, okay. whole, the whole chapter. Oh, I thought wow. it was quite nice. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, I just, I've been really enjoying the Psalms lately. Yeah. One of the reasons is because uh, David obviously wrote a bunch of songs. <laughs> so yeah. he's very articulate <laughs> and, relate, and it's yeah. very, very inspiring. Uh -huh. Well, no, like, yeah, I mean, I think everyone can relate, but I can, I, what I like is, I don't know, I, it's very inspiring the way that he words mm -hmm. stuff. But um, Psalm 84 it's just talking about, I guess, for everyone going through what the world is going through at the moment, this yeah. crisis that the world is in, uh -huh. and uh, the world's always going through stuff, and we are always going through stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but this scripture, I felt, I thought, was quite amazing because I just read it and I felt so encouraged as I was reading it. It's a prayer. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, it's not Psalm eighty-four. It's Psalm eighty-six. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I meant to say Psalm eighty-six. That's okay. It's a prayer that that David. That David has written down here. Yeah. And I just, I read through it twice because I read through it once. And it, when I got to the end, it's, it's not very long. I got to the end and I was like, wow, that was amazing. Then I read through it again and I prayed it as I was reading it. I was oh, kind of, that's amazing. I, I was more intentional the way I read it. And it was quite, yeah. it's quite amazing. It's really just him talking about how he needs God's help mm. in what he's going through at the moment. I think that's what a lot of the Psalms are about. From what Where I'm is it learning. Psalm 86? Psalm 86, yeah. Okay. So I'm I just thought it was quite amazing. And it really helped me this morning, just with everything we're going through, mm. and just all the little things that I go through in life. It's just a very helpful, to me, it was a very helpful scripture to, to read. It was very encouraging for me. And it was, it was an amazing thing for me to be kind of saying to God as I was yeah. reading it, just because it's a prayer, obviously. But um, uh, so I... I mean, I can name obviously some of the scriptures that, all the famous scriptures that everyone likes that are obviously John 3, encouraging. This, yeah, well, yeah, everyone obviously. knows that. But, um, <laughs> but now, um, but I just really like this one. I just thought when I read it this morning, I thought this is the one that I'm going to speak to you about. Okay, I'm going to so go, go read, read it. it. I'm going to read it later on when we finish here because I don't know what Psalm 86 says. Now, I can read it to you now, but it's going to take up too much time. Yeah, it will probably, but people listening, can to now, people listening to now can take the advice from Matthew Mole and go and read Psalm 86. And Here's pray. Yes, did I interrupt you? Were you about to preach? No, you didn't. Okay. I want to, I ask this question to most people. I think I've skipped maybe one person that I never asked this to. If Matthew Mole, it's a weird thing that I call you Matthew Mole. But if Matthew yes. Mole could go back to 2019, middle of 2019, when life was going smoothly, your shows were getting booked up, 2020 was looking great. If yes. you could rewind to the middle of 2019 and speak to Matthew Mole today, knowing what was going to happen, what would you say to yourself? Oh my word, that's hectic. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so now I was going to say I could obviously warn people and warn yeah. myself, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't even have to go as far as that. You could stop it before well, everything that's happening, spe specifically about the pandemic crisis uh -huh. that's happening. Uh -huh. Yeah. You could. It could probably be a way of stopping it. But I think so. No, maybe not stopping it. No, there wouldn't be because then you'd have to tell the whole world and they'd think you're crazy. So. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you'd probably be in a lunatic, lunatic asylum and we'd have to come and visit you. Exactly. But, <laughs> um, but so what would I tell myself personally? Yeah, how would you prepare Matthew Mole for today? If you knew. Sure. Um, I mean, this could apply to any time if I was yeah. to go back. So I, it's amazing because I will, I would, there's, I mean, I think, I feel like I've learned a lot over the last six months or, or more. Yeah. So that's always the case. I think if you could go back even a month, you could tell yourself so much Yeah. to, to prepare yourself just for that next month. So, so even six months, whatever is a lot. So, um, so yeah, so I, I don't even know. I mean, Okay, well, just, think about it. Think about it. And if you come up with an answer just before we end, no. give me that. <laughs> Why have you got an answer then? Well, well yeah, I, it's just a basic answer. I would, I would tell myself everything that's going to happen and try and kind of formulate a, a, a way of, I mean, you could always be better prepared for, yeah. for something. If, if that, you know the I, I think exactly. So um, I could, I mean, not that, not that I regret the way that I've handled things and the way that, the way that uh, like things have unfolded in my life, at least over the last six months or whatever. But um, uh, I guess if you're, if you're aware of something before it happens, then you can obviously plan things out a little bit better. If you know there's a tornado coming, if you know there's a tornado coming, you're going to get downstairs in that little thing underneath the houses houses in the movies and you're going to be prepared but no. i think nobody was prepared for this and no. i think well are you positive about your future as a person i am okay good yes it's obviously well, a very scary time yeah and uncertain for every single person in the whole world yeah but um but i do think things are going to be a lot better soon now what makes you positive about your future God. Good. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's all. Enough. So that's yeah. But that's what I've learned over since since all of this that's going on. Um, yeah. And I think a lot of Christians and maybe people that aren't even Christians are going through the same thing. It's like it's it's almost like they are being not forced. I don't want to say forced because that makes it very negative. But mm-hmm. it's like you spending. I'm I've been spending a lot more time with God than I ever have. Yeah which has been a result of what's going on. And, um, and now, and I'm learning a lot. So coming yeah. out of this, uh, I've got a lot that I, a lot of new stuff that I can apply to my life. Yeah. So, um, but it's, it's also like, it's obviously crises mm. are a good, are a time that you learn to just rely yeah. more on God and give God thanks even more. You know so what the I'm, word- I'm learning a lot in that. You know what the word crisis actually means? It means a turning point. So we choose, when we hit a crisis, we choose, are we just going to be overwhelmed in the crisis or are we going to turn things around in our life? So you're obviously learning things. So what we can say is watch out world. Matthew's coming out of this. Well, we all are. (laughs) Now, before we finish, I'm going to ask you some questions. Um... And it's in the category asking for a friend. Okay. Okay. Nice. Question number one. And you don't have to give me long answers for these. Question number one. How much do you love your mom? (laughs) Out of of 10 or out of... No, that's not a question. That's not a question. That's... (laughs) I know you love me very much. Okay. Oh, yes. A lot. Yeah. Thank you. (laughs) This much. (laughs) Um, Yeah. You can't see. (laughs) Your question, here's the question. What's your favorite thing to cook for Jess when you cook at home? Recently, I've learned it. It's beef in satay sauce. I think you yeah. are actually making that. I made it. You did make day. it. Miss yep, Lucky that's Pony. my favorite yeah. thing. Exactly. <laughs> it was amazing. It's delicious as well. But I think I liked it a lot more than Jess did. So I don't know if that's my favorite yeah. thing to make at the moment. Okay, good. Next thing. Board games or movies at a movie house, not movies at home. Board games or movies? Always movies at a movie yeah. house. That over anything. Okay. Not anything, but most things. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. 
Are you dark? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm very much the opposite. I think I'm, I'm more not a cat person than I am a dog person. Does that make sense? No. I think I dislike cats more than what? I love dogs. And you I love do. dogs a lot. Do you dislike... Oh, I'm definitely a dog person. Yeah, I'm well, a dog yeah. I'm a dog person. I just like the personalities of cats. Some of them are okay, but I'm also a dog person. I'm a lily person. Mm, okay, good. Um, okay, the good. next question is, are you a late night person or an early morning person? Late night person. I love, I like early mornings, but I'm definitely more of a late night person. Last question. And then we have to say goodbye. What is the favorite show that you have ever done in the whole world? Uh, I think it'll, and this is not just because I'm talking to you, my, my mom, but it'll probably be one of the shows that have happened at Kirstenbosch Gardens. I thought you would say Just that. because... Yeah, because obviously the venue, it's an amazing setting. Well, yes. So now obviously the venue is, and it's an amazing setting and yeah. it's, a, it's an amazing place to be playing, especially if it's sold out. But yeah. what's amazing is that it's, it's the kind of show that you guys come to, my family comes to, even Jess comes, even Jess's yeah. family can, has yeah. come before. And everyone's just there and it's just this amazing moment. So yeah. there's like, there's so much more to it than just uh -huh. playing music in a beautiful venue. That's yeah. why I think that's my favorite. And here's my last question. Have you had your coffee? Did you drink I your have coffee? I almost finished it. Yes, okay. almost. Okay, then we are going to say goodbye. Um, don't spill it on your laptop. Thank you for your time. I know you're busy there. Thank you for your time. Thanks for wearing the beanie for the entire video. Yeah, I did. Eh? Sitting in the sun wearing the beanie, I'm going to keep it on. I need, what's, what are the <laughs> other colors you've got? Uh, there's a, there are lots. There's blue, yellow, green, and uh, pink. Okay, I pink. I need a pink one. I don't think there are any pink ones left, but we can make a plan. Okay, I've got. I think I've got all your merchandise. I just don't, don't have do. the the ghost T-shirt and stuff. I've got all those uh, long sleeved ones. The pink, the blue. Yeah. A pink one, a blue one. Okay, we'll make a plan then for you to get all of them. Um, yeah, I need all your merchandise. So, so people must just be watching for you. They know who you are. They all follow you on. You got more followers than me. You've got like no ways fifty thousand followers on Instagram, maybe more. I don't know. Um, so I'm small fry compared to you and Jess. I no, said, you are. Yes, that's you and that's Jess ridiculous. Are like celebrities. Um, no, so, no okay. ways. So people know how to find you. I don't have to put any links up to how to find you. They all know who Matthew Moll is. So I just want to say I'm very proud of you. I love you very Thank much. You. And I, I can't wait to see you and Jess and Lily again. Yeah, it's, it'll be soon. Yeah. You guys will either come up here or we'll bring Lily down to, to Yeah, you've you got to get that dog to me somehow. We will, okay. for sure. So, <laughs> so we are going to say goodbye. Thank you for the chat. Thank you for the chat. Enjoy the rest no, of your man. afternoon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> At least if it gets cold, your ears are going to be warm. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye.